guys so i don't know if you can hear my humidifier right here i have my humidifier going you're gonna have to just bear with me and the sound because the air is like really dry and it's making my nose very stuffy so you're gonna have to just bear with me for this video so recently like i think this happened like six or seven months ago i had a thing called sleep paralysis i never had it before i didn't even know what it was until actually today i just never knew what it was and what happened i don't know if i was i guess like my subconscious was awake but my mind was asleep if that makes any sense see i'm sniffling that's why i got this going but i was laying in bed i was I guess I was sleeping, but I was awake at the same time, and it felt like something was just standing over me with his hands just on my shoulders, just pushing me down, and I could, like, it's like vaguely I could hear my brother saying, Ryan, 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 he kept calling my name, like, repeatedly. But I couldn't get up. I couldn't move. I couldn't do anything. It's like I was in a state of shock. And the thing that scared me the worst about the sleep paralysis is I was home alone. My brother wasn't even here at the time. I was the only one in the house. So I woke up. I was like freaking out. Like completely freaking out. Nobody was home. And I could just hear him calling my name. And I was just laying there like I can't move. I can't get up. My eyes was open. It felt like something was just pushing down on my shoulders, just holding me down. I couldn't get up. And then eventually, like I say, maybe two or three minutes later, I just jumped up out of nowhere. I was freaking out. I was running around the house. I was looking for my brother. I called his cell phone and everything, and he wasn't here. So I was like, what the heck is going on? And I just happened to be looking at some YouTube videos, and then I looked up. And found this video called sleep paralysis and I just did a little bit of research on it and it says something like uh, let me see it say some of them it's different articles um, some of them say something like a demon in the bedroom but to me I don't believe in ghosts and spirits and all that other crazy like nonsense I just don't I'm not a believer in none of that I don't believe in ghosts. I don't believe in like evil spirits. Like when people make videos like, oh, this happened, that happened, like doors slamming and stuff falling off the sh I don't believe in none of that. It's all BS to me. But uh, I was reading and it says studies show that between 25 and 50% of Americans have had sleep paralysis at least once in their life. And many people have it also have narcolepsy in which they fall asleep uncontrollably. And they say experts believe sleep paralysis might be per partly genetic. Other causes include stress, disrupted sleep schedules, jet lag, or pulling an all-nighter. Several studies have also found links between social anxiety and or panic disorder as sleep paralysis. I do <clears throat> suffer from anxiety, social anxiety. I do suffer from social anxiety. Um, now, for it being like a, a current thing in my family, I don't really know because I don't think my mom or dad have ever had sleep paralysis or my brother. It's just weird because it just happened out of nowhere. It's like, I don't even know how to explain it. I was just, it's it just feels so weird because... It's like you know what's going on, but then again, you don't know what's going on. It feel like you want to just get up, you want to scream, you want to move, but it's like you are in a state of mind where you just can't do anything. Everything is just still. You can hear everything around you, but you can't move, you can't react, you can't speak. It was so scary to me when I did uh, have sleep paralysis. But that was the only time I had it. I only had it one time. And that was about six or seven months ago. I just wanted to make a video because I never knew what it was called or what it was. I asked, like, different people around me. Nobody really, they knew what it was, but they didn't know. 
this specific term for sleep paralysis. I don't know, it's just, now that I'm researching and looking it up, it got me like more worried. Like I'm already very uh, paranoid person. I always think something is gonna happen. And that's the last thing. I'm just gonna stop reading about it now. And hopefully nothing else happens to where I get sleep paralysis ever again because it was like one of the scariest things of my life. And that's my sleep paralysis story, guys. And with that being said, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you have any sleep paralysis stories or anything like that, leave it down in the comment section below. Um... This is going to be a late upload. Right now it's going on 3 a.m. My sleep schedule is very, very off. I go to sleep at 3, 4, or 5 in the morning. I should really be getting like 8 or 9 hours of sleep. I usually get between 4 and 5 hours of sleep. So I'm going to try and edit this video and get it up. Hopefully. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys on Wednesday with a brand new video. Wake me up when September ends.